Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for yet another unboxing. Yeah, um, whenever I tell you I'm done with ordering, pretty much don't believe me, it's not true. So this is an order which comes to me from Royal Diamond Painting. Um, I've ordered from them in the past, um, many, many months ago. It's a giant painting and I haven't even started on it. But I thought I wanted to check out their square diamonds and I wanted to get a smaller round diamond painting um, basically to, to have some sort of success <laughs> with one of their paintings because the first one I got is, is a massive uh, painting of the um, Avengers Infinity War movie poster in in a very long landscape format. It's it's a hundred by a hundred and eighty centimeters, so it's it's giant and it's very intimidating. So I got something smaller this time. Um, I ordered these paintings on April twenty second. They shipped on the twenty seventh, and um, I received them today. I forgot to write the prices down, but basically um, I had I used the 35% off code they had at the time, so I think I paid around 60 euro for both. Um, yeah, not too bad. And let's see how we can manage to get into this box, because it's basically the box wrapped in a ton. Of yellow tape. Oops. <laughs> and I've got cardboard flying at me. So we have two canvases on a foam roller. We have ground beads and we have the square beads. We have another sequel of free drilly. And I think that's it. Yes, let's get rid of the box. So, toolkits. Um, wow, that's a lot of wax. <laughs> so let's get that into focus. I guess this is my toolkit for the round painting because it doesn't have any tweezers. It has one of these white boats with a funnel. It has a few baggies. It has three big squares of wax. I think it's, it's three. Hi, Lola. And it has two pink pens with a single and a six placer each. First toolkit. Second, I expect this is for my square painting because it has a pair of tweezers. It has a pink pen with a single and a four placer. Um, it has a green boat, no funnel, more baggies and one big square of pink wax. So nothing special, but not too shabby either. So these are the guys I wanted to see, the square drills. Because as, as you have learned from my Diamond Art Club unboxing, oh yeah, she's cuting it up. <laughs> ah, just for the camera. Um, I have a huge issue with, with this new type of square drills with the divots in the back. And I wanted to see what this shop supplies. Um, so I got a, a smaller square painting. Can I get this off here without? Yes, I can. So I got a smaller square painting and I'm going to show you the thumbnail. It's, it's the Stitch stained glass. It's a very cute one and Royal Diamond Paintings shows you the mock-up of the various sizes they offer and this happened to be one which I really liked in the 30 by 45 centimeter size which is really the biggest I'm, I'm ever going if I try a new shop for squares. Honestly I like to go smaller but um, Royal Diamond Painting um, is very good at providing correct sizes and also a lot of colors in the painting. So, um, as you can probably see from the legend, this small painting has a lot of colors. And I think the inventory sheet, yes, the inventory sheet will mention how many. So, let's look at the back first. Because if you have 
fun stuff like puckers you will see that right away but as you can see we have a perfectly smooth canvas nothing to complain about on first sight and let's get this cover off for this painting it's in one piece um, a lot of people tend to say the the cover paper has been cut in so and so many strips it's actually that the glue comes in certain width and whatever the shop prefers they put on that and the paper isn't isn't cut actually it just comes that way so this shop works with 30 centimeter paper um, and 30 centimeter adhesive and I'm going to take this as far as I dare. And there is nothing really to complain about just yet in the glue. I can tell you that up here it's starting to ripple and this is going to turn into bubbles. Um, I can actually watch them grow right now. <laughs> it's kind of fascinating and sorry for my big head. Um, I can actually watch how they get bigger and bigger <laughs> and the same is happening down here so this is going to develop bubbles um, let's see if we can actually show that yeah I think you can can see these these ripples that are um, slowly turning into into bubbles but on the other hand what you can also see is I hope that the drill field is extremely clear. There isn't any blurry symbol whatsoever as far as I can see. I think the only symbols I would say could have been better is... Oh, let's see if I can actually show you that. It's trying to fall. If you can see the you here on the side I I can read it um, I think it would have been better to use white printing same for the S um, it looks a bit lighter in the camera than it actually is but it's it's readable I might not even need a light pad for it so I'm not going to complain about that I think and I'm sorry for the glare but I think the size is pretty good for this painting um, doesn't really need to be bigger in my opinion let's see how that turns out in the end i hope the drills are good i already saw divots on them so <laughs> uh, my nemesis is clearly named divot that much i can tell you so let's put that down flat What's interesting is that the square drills come in these um, individual plastic bags we love so much. The rounds don't. And it's, it's very neatly packed. I'm honestly a bit sad that I'm going to take it out of there and do inventory. <laughs> So let's see, we have 84 colors in this small thing, but that's something Royal Diamond Painting um, is actually famous for. So they, they use as many colors as possible. Some people don't like that, I actually do, because I believe in colors and shading, and I think anything below 30 has a risk of not turning out any good. That also means we only have a handful of bags for each color at the, at the most, except of course for our beloved 310. 30 bags of that one. But it's a stained glass, so not much of a surprise. Take that out and have a look. So it's, it's clearly, yeah, these are all new drill quality. 
I think in this bag here I can show you a bit better what I was whining on about in, in my Diamond Art Club unboxing because this drill shows it pretty good. But I'm too dumb to show it to you. It's one again, one of these drills that is, is slightly curved inwards on the side instead of being straight. So this is not going to be smoothly fitting against the next drill. Um, I think here you can also see, eh, was, where is my viewfinder? You can also see that they don't look really straight. I mean, these here, they look rather blobby to me. That's also something which is new drill quality. But what I find a bit unnerving is that they don't have the divots and still look like that, so. Ah. Stop eating the diamonds, please. I might still need them. So, yeah, this is very consistent. So, hmm. Not overly fond of that. All right. Let's do the inventory. I am going to speed this up. Um, I don't want you to sit through all of that, so. All right, looks like everything is here. I will go through it again because I either forgot to tick off the 704 or I took ticked off a different color that by coincidence isn't here. Um, I think it's the former, I forgot it. Few things about these drills. Um, they have the black print on, on them and there are multiple problems here as far as I'm concerned. Some colors are pretty hard to read. Um, well, it's easy here in the viewfinder. Maybe I should watch through the camera next time. <laughs> but it's it's actually very hard to, to distinguish some of these. Um, I think this makes it a bit clearer. I know if you imagine it even worse, that's what you see with your eyes. On the other hand, for the 310, it was printed. Eh. I have a hard time finding my focus today. It was printed in between the bags to make it more legible. But what can happen if they do that is that they cut the number in half. That's not too bad. That was easy to guess. Um, this one though, where am I? This one though was a bit harder. And what's also happening with this black print is that it's rubbing off. So not the, not the best. Um, but everything is here. The colors are beautiful. The drill shape, yeah. Um, I'm a bit on, on the fence about it, so I'm, I'm not sure yet. We will decide once this painting is done. Or binned, one of the two. So let's move these drills more or less back in the back. I'm going to make it pretty once I'm done here. As I've already proven, I'm very crap at putting drills back into bags. <laughs> and let's move on to the second painting. So the second painting is a round and it is much bigger because I know from my first purchase that their drill quality for the round is amazing. 
um, they are super super shiny um, they look perfect in the bag and I felt confident I mean I was already very confident when I ordered this huge painting but it was just love on first sight but I felt confident I could go bigger on the round so the round is a 60 by 70 and it is the golden white princess I don't know if they have they have a name for it that is not exactly girl <laughs> I think it's like gold white sleeping or something like that let's put the foam roll out um, yeah this foam roller is pretty pretty small for for such a big painting that's also not ideal. And um, if you're interested in this painting, I think they have another 38% off code right now. And it's for the other category. This painting actually is in there. So if you like that, once I show it to you, consider going back and ordering it. Once again, 30 centimeter tape. And it's the type that sticks very well. Yeah, this is going to bubble. I hope not too badly. There are a lot of theories. Oh, and the glue is actually overlapping. So we have to be a bit careful with removing this part. So we don't cause any disturbance in the force. Drills out of the way. And <coughs> sorry for the coughing. She is looking so, so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. Oh. But it's resisting quite a bit. This is actually, oh, it's nearly the whole painting. Maybe I can move it up a little further and be a bit more brave with removing the color paper. Oh, let's, let's do something crazy. Let's put it back down and remove the other side. And I have a feeling I'm mumbling today, so I'm apologizing in advance. I will turn the volume up as high as I can in edi editing. So let's put that back down. This is her. Let's start down here. So this is about a couple of centimeters I have not exposed because um, I don't want to take the whole cover paper off. But basically there's more white down here. And as you can see, she is gorgeous. This looks amazing. The glue is starting to bubble though. 
I think you can see it here in the, in the glare. For once the glare is good for something, all these little ripples are slowly turning into bubbles. So yeah, that's that's not so fantastic. Hmm, that means a lot of slicing once I'm working on this. But she looks freaking amazing. I have a feeling she's going to be worth it. So let's struggle some more and put this paper down again. won't be that much of a struggle. Yay! <laughs> Victory! All right, so this was the canvas and except for the post unpacking bubbling, I actually love it. And these are the colors. Pretty muted, but they look fantastic once again. They actually remind me of the drills I got from the Fuyun store. Here's a bit of a better picture of what it's going to look like. I think she's so, so pretty. Um, yeah, they, they remind me of what I got from the Fuyun store when I did the Beauty and the Beast. Um, so um, those were amazing quality. Best round drills aside from Diamond Art Club I had so far. And as far as colors, we have 63. 63 freaking colors. <laughs> um, and like I said, biggest difference, the rounds come in, in Ziploc bags and I wonder why that is. They are also the thick, good quality thick uh, Ziploc bags. So that's, that's fantastic. Oh, let's do another round of inventory, which I'm going to speed up. Fifty uh, sixty-three and one rogue drill. There he is. <laughs> Probably came out of one of the bags. With these bags, you always have to to make sure that they are actually closed because sometimes they they are not completely closed. And yeah, these are all the colors. Um, very muted, but um, no wonder if you look at the picture. And let's see if I can show you one color which should show pretty. I think this one might show good up on, on camera. Can you see how how perfect and sparkly they are? That's what I love about them. So yeah, round drills. I, I absolutely love what I see. I love the first painting I unboxed. Um, it had a few issues with the canvas, but with a 100 by 180 canvas, I'm actually not surprised it had. It had a few bubbles. I had a tiny little pucker on, on one end. Um, I'm going to cut that one, so I'm not going to fuss about that at the, at the shop. Um, something I noticed about this order this was actually shipped to me from France instead of Singapore, like like the other order. Um, so maybe this is a change now for the people in the European Union or in Europe period. Um, don't know, but I like it because in that case I'm never afraid about customs fishing my package out of, of um, transit because as you might or might not know, within the European Union we don't do customs. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, 
I I like ordering from this shop. It's it's always very very fast and the nice ladies um owning this shop are just yeah, they are super nice. I've spoken to them a couple of times and I can highly recommend going to them even for customs. They make fantastic customs. They show you plenty of mock-ups and will um also help you decide on the perfect size and quite honestly they nearly always have some kind of coupon code um, I think it varies between 25 and 40 percent off so if you see something you like just be on the lookout there will be a great deal in your future that's all I can say so let's see if we can little miss kitty get to cooperate One day I want her up on this desk. She prefers rolling around on my desk chair. So let's see if we can maybe get her into focus. This is actually my chair, but because it's mine, she loves it. Hey kitty, hi. And what I actually wanted to show you Rachel was talking about getting light up unicorn pants in her shop yesterday and I mentioned I had one. I think it's not exactly the same she is going to get, but this one doesn't just light up, it also makes noise. And that one is so incredibly annoyed by that thing. And I wanted to show you that. So let's see if she's going to cooperate. Unicorn bag. <laughs> this is a fun way to annoy your mean kitty. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, that's it from me for today. I hope you liked this unboxing, and you will consider to give it a thumbs up. Um, well, if you didn't like it, you can as well give it a thumbs down. That's fine. Maybe consider telling me why you didn't like it in the comments below. And I promise no cat was hurt in the process, even if she is complaining now. Uh, come here, princess. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Oh, doesn't want to say hi. People are not worth saying hi to. <laughs> Yeah, but that's it um, if you want to leave a comment below I love reading all your beautiful comments and I will answer to every single one of them I promise it might not be right away but I will get back to it and if you like my channel and haven't done so yet please subscribe hit the bell to be notified about my new videos I'm really trying to put out as much as I can I promise all right guys that's it from us today um, enjoy whatever you're doing, have a beautiful day and we will talk to each other very very soon. Bye bye!